Okay, we're here with uh, Dave Slifer, Jenny's basketball coach. Uh, virtual media day, the inaugural media day. Uh, today I've got a couple questions for you. Uh, talk about your team this year. Uh, what do you think the strengths are heading into the upcoming season? Well, first of all, we're really excited about the virtual media day. That uh, That's really neat. Uh, I guess we do have a lot of teams from a long distance away, so uh, I guess this is the route we're going in our conference. Uh, as far as uh, our team goes, I think that we're deeper, we're, we're stronger, we're more athletic than we have been in the last few years. Uh, I, I think that uh, we'll be able to play nine, ten players, uh, particularly early, and uh, until we find out uh, exactly who the top top bunch will be. Okay, talk a little bit about some of the concerns you have heading into this season. Uh, uh, you lost some key players, your daughter, one of them. Uh, talk about uh, what what these new players need to do and, and uh, some of the things that uh, the team needs to improve on before you get going. Well, we've got uh, four new junior college players and a uh, freshman, so uh, we've got to find a way to meld uh, the group that uh, we brought in with our returning group, and so that's always interesting. Uh, with four junior college players, that's a lot more than we've ever had. But with that, uh, we do have uh, kids that uh, – that, that have got a lot of college basketball experience. And uh, it, it is, uh, you know, my daughter's gone now, and actually my wife's gone also. She is the high school coach. So uh, we've got kind of a new look this year, and uh, I think that uh, I think my wife will do great at Warrensburg High School, and I'm pretty sure that uh, we'll do fine here with the Jennies. Uh, it will be interesting to see, particularly early, how – the new kids end up playing uh, in this league, which is, uh, you know, a step up from what they're used to. Will that be one of the keys is how well some of these people that haven't played MIAA basketball before, uh, how well they uh, uh, get into that frame of mind and then uh, and how the keys to success for the team this year? Well, all I can say is uh, in this first week of practice so far, it is uh, our, our main thing has been behavior modification, and we've got to you know try to get uh, kids' intensity level raised uh, for them to be successful in this conference. Uh, we you know we're very proud of our conference and feel like it's the top conference in the country. Uh, you got to come out every night to ready to play, or you're going to get a L hung on you. So uh, right now, that's all we're focused on is making sure our kids learn how to play hard, what it takes to be successful in this league. Uh, in what ways will this team's be a little bit different than last year's team? I know different personnel. Uh, what What's kind of the style that you're going to see out of the Jennies this year? Well, I felt like last year we would, did a lot of contain on defense because uh, we weren't the quickest team in the country. Uh, this year, I think we've got a lot more quickness. We've got a – we're just bigger all over the place. Uh, we've got, you know, 5'11", small forwards, off guards right now, whereas last year we had 5'5", uh, five, five kids. So I, I think we're going to be quicker, longer. Uh, we should be able to pressure the ball a little bit better than we have in the last few years. Uh, and, and the whole key is to make sure that, that they all buy in, make sure that uh, – uh, you know, we do get contested shots, and that's what our goal is, to get contested shots and, and make sure that uh, we just give them one shot. Okay, uh, you talk about buying in. Uh, your team got back to the NCAA tournament last season. Uh, how does that impact uh, the players that are coming back as well as some of the newcomers with the expectation level? Well, I mean, you know, it's been frustrating for uh, for three years there. We struggled and didn't make it uh, after uh, our teams had made the NCAA tournament for 10 straight years. And uh, you come to the end of the season, all of a sudden you're not playing the postseason. Uh, you realize you got some work to do. Uh, last year we took a step forward. We were much better. Uh, and now we've got to find a way to not just get to the NCAA tournament, but uh, to, to win the darn regional and, and, and move on to St. Joe so we could uh, find somewhere to get to an Elite Eight. Okay, talk about uh, your overall expectations for this team. You talk about uh, going to the Elite Eight possibly, and, and uh, that's just a goal that you guys have. Uh, what are some of the other goals that you guys have this season? Well, we've got to. Uh, bottom line is, you know, the highest we finished is third, and uh, that's been my my years here at Central, and it's time to take a step up. Uh, uh, will it be easy? Heck, no. We've got two of the top teams in the country in Washburn and Poria, and you've got to find a way to to go on the road and win, and make sure you take care of your home floor. Uh, you know. It, it, We've gotten to the point in the MIAA now, if you can win the league, obviously you can win the national championship. And uh, our our job is to uh, 
and and not only have we not done a great job of beating Emporia of Washburn, but uh, we've st- stumbled along the road in some games in the last few years that we shouldn't have. And I, I hope that this team is able to uh, do a little bit better defensively and make sure that even those nights when the shots aren't falling, that you get some stops and give yourself a chance to win on the road. Thank you, Coach.